Hi guys, so today we have a special day. We have an official firmware update for the Sony Bravia X900 ETV. It's a it's available for download through the official uh, Sony website. So I suggest you get your free copy from them immediately and install it on your Bravia TV right now. As you can see, the official file is quite big. It's around 1.58 gigabytes. Now, to update your TV, you need to follow the uh, specific steps that are listed on their website. Just don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine, like powering your TV off in the middle of an update. Dumbass. Yeah. So the update includes a couple of nice features. However, the most important ones, in my opinion, are the PIP picture-in-picture -picture while using an Android TV app, the audio video sync when playing 4K HDR content in 60 frames per second, and also the added support for the hybrid log gamma HDR content via HDMI and USB home network. So a couple of times, I played some HDR content in specifically in 60 frames per second just to see if my HDMI cable is capable of handling the, 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 the throughput, the data. And I did really see some stuttering and I did really see some, some um, audio video uh, sync problems. Right now it's difficult to say, I don't see any problems. Uh, Back then, I was I was thinking, oh yeah, the, the the video is encoded in a bad way, or yeah, my my CPU, there's something wrong with the CPU, or I have some background processes that are slowing my PC down. Well, I think the issue is resolved now. The important thing, the um, HLG, the hybrid log gamma for the HDR content is a format that is making its way into the general consumer's home. More and more TVs, consumer grade TVs, can now support hybrid uh, log gamma, high dynamic range uh, content. Also more and more TVs, cameras, devices and smartphones can record, I mean not TVs, the TVs don't record the yeah, thing. They can record in not only in Cine like V or Cine like D log formats, but also the HLG hybrid log gamma to allow the editors to grade their content in post production. The Panasonic Lumix GH5 is a great example as it supports recording video with the hybrid log gamma option enabled. There are also more improvements in uh, in the new firmware, firmware blah, blah, update for the X900e or the XE90 Bravia TV. Um, in the last videos, my subscribers were pissed off because I was, uh, sh you know, showing the remote and explaining that the responsiveness of the TV within the Android environment is really good. Well, now it's even better. No stuttering, no lagging, very nice user experience. And no, this video is not sponsored by anyone. And yeah, I did update my recording equipment, but more on that in the next video. Peace. Peace.